2022 Volvo XC60. This one is the recharge model. These have literally just come off the truck. I mean, we've had them at port. Just waiting for the arrival. This is a T8. You have the all-wheel drive. This one has the recharge. So this has the best of all worlds. You can drive hybrid, full electric, gas, you name it. Has the plug here. Actually, I'd love to charge this one up too. <laughs> so for 2022, there are some differences. I'll tell you, they're adding a couple colors too. This color is gorgeous, by the way, too, by the way. Uh, this one is priced at $63,360. It's got that beautiful metallic paint for $695, the advanced package, the climate package, and a couple other things, Harman Kardon sound system. Now, the beauty of these recharges is that there is a federal tax credit for these. And of course, it can make the price lower, and you can also utilize it for tax purposes. So it has all, you see, this really just came off our shipment. It's still not really ready. It's got the, we have to still run this through service. Now, the biggest thing is, I'm gonna try to show you as much as possible on the inside, but unfortunately, a lot of times these Volvos, they do need a lot of uh, updates with the software. So we'll see. We'll see what we can show you. As you see, with the battery down there, we have the fuel. So let me just lower this down. I don't even think, let me see if Google will work. No, it's not. See, customer software has not been updated. Um, so we have the 360 camera. We have the vehicle. Just try to go through all the screens. Assist, okay, here we go. So things have really changed. Quite a bit back oh sorry go to the charge so right now we're at uh, eight percent see what else we have oh wow it's really nice tire pressure monitoring active bend so what they do is they it seems like they put a lot more icons versus the other one where you just swipe over and then you go into settings and everything else. So if you're familiar with Volvo, this will just get a little bit of getting used to, even for me, because I'm used to my, you know, the older system, the census uh, nav and everything else that goes along with it. But ultimately, the goal is, just like these pole stars, everything's going to change over to the Android-based Google system, and it's all about voice commands and telling the vehicle what to do instead of kind of touching everything on the screen and taking your eyes off the road. What they really want you to do is they want you to set up your profile for your phone that you get into the vehicle and it basically knows you, all right? As I have, I mean, I've always used Samsung, Android, you have it, but will it work for Apple customers, of course it will. It's not gonna be an issue. Another change up for 22 is the shifter. I love the shift. This is my XC40. This is very nice. I love the fact that it has the hole there. It still retains the old um, uh, start button there. And when the software is updated and you do have the vehicle set up to you, you'll also have a huge screen here for the map, so it's very nice. Definitely come down take one out for a test drive we will have them fully updated by then and ready to go but just want to kind of show you very quickly this 22 Volvo oh you know what one other thing they've actually brought back that's how I could tell right away if they're 22s on a lot of the Volvos uh, I look in the window I'm like oh there you go it's like for parking if you have a little ticket or something or anything you want to put in there years ago Volvo always had that then they took it away and now it's back so that's a 22 feature as, as small as it is and it's something you could just look out for.